Hi everybody, I'm here with Alan and his 1967 Sunbeam Alpine 1725. We're just doing the cold start video now, so when you're ready Alan. Would you be able to give me some very gentle reps? Great, thank you. Hi everybody, I'm here with Alan and this is 1967 Sunbeam Alpine 1725. We're just doing the on the road video now, just showing the car, go through the gears um, and go along these lovely country roads. How long have you owned the car for, Alan? Sorry? How long have you owned the car for? About three years now. Fantastic. And um, what attracted you to this Alpine? Well, initially I'd never really thought about an Alpine. I was looking at the GT6. Yeah. But the GT6 was so small I couldn't get in it, never mind, never mind driving it. And yeah. I had one of these where I was looking at the GT6 and I thought well, I'll give it a try. I've always liked the look of them. Yeah. Um, and I got in it and it just fit. And That's six foot four. Yeah. You know, to find a small 60 sports car that, um, that fit and it was quite unusual. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and that's where and I went, that's where I went for me. I got this one locally. Fantastic. Um, this one's fitted with overdrive, so that's now lost 500 RPM. Oh, great. And it's also uh, on third as well, so you've almost got six gears. That's great. And have you done many miles over your ownership? I think I've done about 800 miles. Unfortunately, I bought it just before lockdown, so we didn't go anywhere from here. Yeah. And um, have you had any major work done to the car if you're in the ship? No, apart from uh, apart from the fuel line that broke, uh, I've had the carburetors balanced. Yeah. Um, I've uh, changed the seals on the clutch master cylinder. I've, I had a, a, a sticky brake master cylinder which I repaired. Yeah. Um, I recently had both petrol tanks out and had all and had 57 years with the rubbish emptied out of them. Oh wow. Because uh, <laughs> I was getting fuel blockages. Okay. But uh, it's fine now. Oh great. Fantastic. And how does the car feel to drive? How's oh, it well. Yeah, yeah. How's the steering? Steering, when it's going, is light, but of course it's not power steering, so when you're trying to manoeuvre, it's a bit heavy. Okay. But um, I couldn't cope with the tiny little thin steering wheel. Yes. Thing, so I put this leather uh, one on, which makes holding it a lot easier. Nice one. Um, and the clutch as well, how does the clutch feel? The clutch feel? is pretty good. Yeah. It's uh, right near the bottom. Fantastic. Uh, this thing is so well geared. I mean, I don't even have to change gear. You can almost drive it like an automatic. I'm doing 25 miles an hour now. Wow. Top gear. Wow. Um, I wouldn't put it in overdrive, but no. Uh, the speed, but, it's uh, very, very smooth. Very flexible. Yeah. As a as a passenger, it um, everything sounds as it should. It, it feels great to sit in, and there's no unusual knocks or noises coming from the car at all. Um, how are the brakes as well? Brakes are pretty good. Great. Uh, I can demonstrate if you want. Yeah. Hang on to your horses. Really quick? Yeah. Very impressive. Those power assisted brakes. Wow. Make, make
makes a difference. That pulls really well too. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Friday holiday traffic as well. Yeah. <laughs> 